Okay, in this video I'm going to continue with exercise 1b of, uh, and I'm going to do question 5 of Fundamental Applied Mathematics. So here's the question at the bottom there. Find unit vectors in the same direction as these, and it gives you two vectors. Now, to be honest, I think that question is quite vague. Um, so, just bear with me while I do a small bit of thinking here. I'm going to say that the vector a is equal to what? It's equal to 3i hat plus 4 times j hat. And as normal, we've got to do the following. We've got to draw our xy axis, otherwise known as our Cartesian plane. To define our unit vectors here, i hat, j hat, okay. And let's draw the vector a. So it's uh, 1, 2, 3 units in the i hat direction, 2, 3, 4 units in the j hat. So we'll say it's approximately here, okay. Now, we've got to drop our perpendiculars. Now, what you should realize, well, hopefully you have realized, that dropping perpendiculars is, is, is actually is the same as finding the component vectors of this resultant. So this vector here, A, is a resultant vector. It's made up of other vectors. What I've done here is I've broken it up into two vectors. So I've done the opposite of adding. Whereas usually you would have been given, we'll say, this vector um, C and the vector D and you would have went uh, c plus d is equal to dot 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 and it happens to be that c plus d is equal to uh, 3i plus 4j okay 3i plus 4j and as I said a is equal to 3i plus 4j alright so anyway there's our, there's our uh, that, that's how we do it just going to give their magnitudes C is equal to three. D is equal to four. Now you can do them. Do you can do a bit of Pythagoras here, and you'll find that this is five because remember that um, the hypotenuse squared is equal to well, the square is sorry, not the square is equal to three squared plus four squared, and you get the square root of that. So you, I'll just do it anyway. So you get nine plus sixteen, which is twenty-five, and you get the square root of twenty-five, which is five. Okay, I hope that makes sense to you. There's, there it is explicitly for you by Pythagoras, P-Y-T-H. Okay, so anyway, it says find unit vectors in the same direction. Now, if you're looking at what direction, well, you've got to find the angle at which they, these vectors are. So I'm going to find this angle theta here. So I'm going to use, of course, the usual stuff, it's like a toa. So we could use a multitude of things. This time I'm going to just for a crack go for tan theta is equal to what? It's equal to um, 4 over 3 opposite over adjacent. Therefore, theta is equal to inverse tan 4 over 3. Or arc tan, that's the same. That's the same thing. Equals what? Let's find out what it equals. So inverse tan of 4 divided by 3 is equal to 53 degrees. 53 degrees. So, uh, the question is, find unit vectors in the same direction. So basically, we're asked to find it as at any vector that's at an angle of 53 degrees. So well, how do you go do that? Well, to be honest, I think, now I'm not 100% sure about this, but I'd be, I'd be surprised if I'm wrong. And either way, this, this question is phrased quite poorly. So anyway, the usual stuff, the same unit vectors is up here. All right. And we know that we want a, a vector. 53 degrees and that's all we want so it could be anything like you can there literally is an infinite number of vectors which will give you that uh, give you that angle so you can pick any of them so let's try one of them here so just just for the crack drop our perpendiculars again in other words get some uh, get some our, our, our component vectors of this one here now what we know is that the uh, that the what we want we want to find out say we'll call this the opposite we we'll call this the adjacent so we'll say tan fifty three is equal to o over a all right therefore fifty three is equal to inverse tan o over a 
inverse 10 over a or well that's that actually did me no good so we'll say 10 53 is equal to opposite over adjacent well what's 10 53 10 of 53 is equal to 1.32 so opposite over adjacent is equal to 1.32 therefore the opposite is equal to 1.32 times adjacent And that's all that seems to matter. Opposite is 1.32 over adjacent. So you could say that the opposite, sorry, you could say A is equal to 1 and O is equal to 1.32. You could say A is equal to 2 and O is equal to twice 1.32. You say any of those and they all match. Now the thing is in the book you're given an answer. The answer in the book that's given is 3 fifths I hat and um, 3 fifths i hat plus 4 fifths j hat. Okay, that's the answer given in the book. So, what I'm going to do very quickly is see if that gives me the same angle. 3 fifths i hat plus 4 fifths j hat. So, the same stuff, same unit vector as the past y, x. So, we have 3 fifths i hat and we have 4 fifths j hat. I'm going to move slightly quicker now than I would usually, so I'm going to call this theta, so sine theta, wrong, tan theta is equal to 4 fifths over 3 fifths, and therefore theta is equal to inverse tan, inverse tan of 4 fifths over 3 fifths. So, uh, theta is equal to inverse 10 of 4 over 5 times 5 over 3 is equal to inverse 10 of 4 over 3. So let's have a gander and see what that is. Inverse 10 over 3. Hmm, well, it's 10 4 over 3. Inverse 10, 4 divided by 3 is equal to. 53 degrees. So, uh, yes, that was a question phrased very poorly, but uh, there are any number of answers to that question.